what seems like a normal house on a normal street lays one of the best time capsules that we have ever visited. Built in 1698, this house has had its fair share of generations living inside its walls, and the items inside gave us solid evidence of that. So join me and the Lost Explorer as today we explore the Great House. Yes guys, we're back. Today we are out exploring a big old mansion. You'll see by the architecture and all that stuff, it's, this building dates back to 1800s at least, doesn't it? Uh, I'm joined by Lost Explorer. Hello. But yeah, let's get straight into the explore. See you then. You can tell it's a really old building. Do you know what I mean? Like from 1800s, but it's in such good shape, isn't it? It's in pretty good condition, yeah. yeah. Compared to his last, last location we did. I know. And this is like hundreds of years old. Yeah. It shows you. Architecture has gone downhill. <laughs> Whoa! What we got? What the flip? Oh, These books and shit. Wow! What the hell? Look at the old vinyls. vinyls. Amazing. Oh my god! Beethoven. Sliced pears. Rude Atlas of Great Britain. Man over Hawaii. It's almost like a time capsule in a way. Like these these vinyls should not be here. I mean, I'm glad they are. Yeah. But gen generally, people will take this. Shit. Oh God, the amount of money that's in this room in terms of history and uh, antiques, essentially, right? Yeah. Right, and, and it's still here. I'm so happy we come when we have. Just look around us, there's a Beethoven one. Unbelievable. There's a big pile over there <laughs> full of vinyls, paperwork, 1993 postgraduate University of Leicester regulations. Look at these books. Look at the size. Wow. Medicine and Pharmacy, Mental Health, what? University book from 1958. Oh my days. That's, that's mental. There's books everywhere, the history in this room. It's unbelievable. Road and Traffic book from 1995. Sliced pears in light syrup as well, unopened. What's the date on this? There's actually no date on it. Check on the... What's that say? It doesn't really... It oh, might have that's faded. how old it is, guys. Uh, do you see Sainsbury's logos like this anymore? Uh-uh. No. Well, I'd obviously want to be live, so it shows that. It's not open as well, because it's usually got that little thing that pops up. Amazing. Mustard. Vinyls in general, I mean, they're not even... They're, they're not even as old as this will be worth an absolute fortune. I bought an Oasis vinyl about two years ago, and it cost me £50. You know what I mean? And that's Oasis and they're, they're different night is and exactly. that vinyl was probably made two years ago when I bought it. These are oh, 50 to 100 maybe years old. Two pence. It's two pence check. <laughs> it's a two pence. What? Two pence. The check requires endorsement. It's a check for two pence. Two pence. Oh, we're loaded, mate. Let's see what's down here. It does look like someone's had some kind of grow in here, if you know what I mean. Look at all the top hole, you know, whatever you, I don't know, technical names. Look at this creepy old picture. Ugh. That's creepy. Look at the whole book. Look here as well. Look at that. Very old. Very, very old. Like that random chair. Ugh. That's not as flooded as the other one because we came up another cellar en entrance. That's how we got in through cellar, but yeah, it, it wasn't. Is. It was flooded as hell, and this one. Doesn't look as bad, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna go. It, like it does look like a uh, Ted Bundy's cellar. Oof. Yeah, it's got that old cellar smell. Yeah, that part's flooded. Look, we came in like through that that bit. It, no, do you know what it of? Ed Gwynn's fucking cellar. Sorry. <laughs> Ed Gwynn. He had that cellar, didn't he? Full of like face. Yeah. Skin and sh You ready? Uh, yeah, definitely. Let's go. Let's do it. I'm hyped for this one. I two ways we can go. To say it's as old as it is, it's one of the most sturdy. What the hell? It is in really good condition. Yeah, yeah. someone's had a grow in here. Oh god. 100% on that one, mate. Wait until you see this room, mate. Really? It's not in use now, is it? No. If it's in use now, I'm going. I'm out. I'm not staying in here. Yeah. Oh my God. Jesus. 
Look at this. There's some ridiculous amounts of, oh my God. Plant pots. I think you can all guess without us actually seeing. Growing tomatoes. Yeah, growing tomatoes. Definitely. Yep. Oh. What the frick? Jeez. Look at the slides. Oh my God. Look at these. Look at the old, look at the pictures. That's creepy, that. Them oh, pictures could, dude. wait, there's 1984, 1985. These photos, these slides, that's history. Look, hang on. 1965, that 1965. one. 1965, old slides. That's incredible. They don't even do these anymore. No, they don't. These, this photo, this woman, she, the first selfie ever taken. It could be, you know. Is that the Taj Mahal? I, I, no. Yeah, is it? That's the Taj. Yeah, Taj Mahal. Well, I'm assuming it is. Looks like it is to me. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> That's bizarre. Oh, is that a passport? It's incredible. Absolutely. A British passport. Date of birth, 1886. Eight. Profession, none. Wow. Place of birth, Newcastle. Country residence, England. Could be in this room alone. I was looking for each thing. It's mental. I want to check the rest of the house out though. I know there's a that way to check, and then there's the attic as well. So let's carry on. But this is incredible. Those photo slide things. History. It's like a museum. Ooh. I know. Ooh. Upstairs. Upstairs. Well, we're going to head to the third floor. Uh, oh, this is one. Oh God, this is a cupboard. There's a door as well. Really? Yeah. Oh, look at your TV and radio. Jesus Christ. If this ain't a time cap, I don't know oh. what it is. That's from like like 1960s, 1950s oh. even. I'd love to play Fortnite on that. Oh my God, an old bus ticket. A single. Old radio. It, there's no date on it though, like unfortunately. That. There's more stuff. They were being treated today. They really are being treated today. Look at everything. There's an old chest wow. here. Dare I open it? Dare I open the chest? Open chest. Nothing, nothing in the chest. A bit of air. Okay. All them magazines, this books, these old vases, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Vases, cups, a bit, bit of pottery. <laughs> now, now, now. Look at the old newspaper. 19. I don't know if you can see, it's going to be hard to see. But it says 1959. Up in the corner, very, just at the bottom of my thumb. I don't know if you can see it, the camera's not focusing at all. There is another side to the uh, attic as well. Oh, is there? Yep. Downstairs and that side of the staircase, that side of the building. Excellent. Excellent! We've got one more set of stairs to check out. It's, it's like this side of the building's loft. Oh, no, this is creepy. Sections, so there's no... It's a desk stuck to the <gasps> ceiling. There's a pole holding it to the ceiling. With all these old newspapers. That. They don't call it the Great House for nothing. Right. History. The history of England. Oops. Supplied to subscribers only. Nice. Right guys, you heard that. If you're not subscribed, remember to, to do it right now. Subscribe. Paleontology. Paleontology? Yeah. Oh, what's that? What the f is that? Pardon the language, but that is the creepiest statue I've ever seen. Tall lad, dear. Just everything to the left. Behind there, it's just countless newspapers and magazines and books. I try not to touch, as, uh, touch them if they're not in the open because I don't want to rip them. In the vinyl room, the, one of my favorite rooms I've ever been in, to be honest, in terms of exploring. Uh, incredible, incredible explore. It's not, it's not my standard haunted explore. It's supposed to be haunted, but to be honest with you, we're not feeling anything. We're just at awe and we're just in awe at how magnificent this history is. If you do want to see more time capsules, let me know in the comments. Tom Michael here, yeah. rolling this bag once again. Uh, see you in the next one. Peace. Peace. Just want to thank you all so much for watching the videos. At the time of editing this, I'm at 8,754 subscribers, which is incredible. Thank you so much. Yeah, quick special thanks to Matthew Wagstaff for watching every video. You, you and Lorna are giving me consistent support through every single video since the very beginning, so thanks for that. Thanks to you all, and I'll see you next week. Peace.